Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making this video because I, this is, I'm on vacation right now and I created this, what I call my travel orchid tank to tend to some of my orchids while I'm away from home. So it's very simple. If you saw my video on humidity trays, uh, it's really a, a combination humidity tray in an enclosed space. So this is a fish tank. I used to have fish in here and I converted it to a travel aquarium slash terrarium, whatever you would like to call it. Now I do have a variation of this on a bigger scale. I think it's a 75 gallon tank at home. And uh, I'll show you that one later. But this is my travel tank. And the reason I created this is because A, I was going to go on vacation and some of these orchids require frequent watering, which if I would have left them at home, I would have arrived to dead plants. Now, I have, I brought this with me and I tend to them every day. They've watered them every day. And what's constant here is the humidity and the airflow. And I do turn on the light every morning and I turn it on every night because I didn't bring a timer with me. So I'm gonna deconstruct it so you guys what it is. If you have a fish tank that's already empty, perfect. All you have to do is put the leaka pellets in the bottom and put your plants in there. Now this tank, you have to make sure you have a light source. This is what I use. And of course, the tank already came with its own lid. So I brought my dingy one. I didn't, I didn't want to bring my clean one. But that's what you have. The tank, the lid, the light. And you need a fan for air circulation. So I'm going to put this up here for now so you guys... This is my fan. Really what it is, is a computer fan. And I took off the connectors and I connected it to a uh, cell phone charger. And um, it's real easy. You just connect the, term, the wires and you plug it in. And I think they, are, uh, they have a voltage of maybe eight volts. And uh, it's perfect for air circulation. So then what I did, I created like support, I don't know what you call it, uh, racks right here. Basically it's a, a piece of plastic and I put hooks on each side and you just put it in there and your plants would be fine. So I'm gonna set this over here and I'll show you what they are. Now this, I just got this Cideria japonica. I have Chamanji's Haritoniana. This one is Oranges. So, now you can see better. Uh, the tank has a little bit of maybe uh, calcium deposits, and I try to clean it with vinegar, but you could just do your best. And it looked a little bit dark in here because he had the other screen here with the orchid mounts, but I will show you the another reason why I took it with, brought it with me is because this plant, not the fern, but this one, this one is Ancestrochylus rasholdianus. And if you know, it's also known as the Hershey's Kiss orchid. And uh, it, it slightly went into dormancy, but immediately started growing a new growth. So 
I couldn't leave it at home without being watered because once the new growth starts, you need to water it frequently. And that's another reason why I created this tank. And I also brought my Pluralis Picta and this needs to be watered frequently also. So that's what I have in there. I also have um, Grecum Leonis. And since I brought it, uh, it's uh, giving me a new, a new leaf right there. And what else? I have uh, another, other some Grecums and Rikon Stylus. This is tuberlo, Tuberolabium Cotuense. So this one, I brought it because I didn't want it to die. And it needs to be frequently watered as well. So, there you go. This is my travel tank. I brought it with me on vacation. So you could do something like this if you're going to travel and you're worried about your plants, having to water them. If you have them with you, then you don't have to worry because you water them as they need watering. The tank incorporates or you know, has the humidity. And um, you have a light source and you have air circulation. So I hope you like my video on turning a fish tank to an orchidarium. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.